The celebration of holidays and the recognition of Jesus on Christmas is being denounced by many modern-day Christians that have accepted the belief of antichrist religions. So here it is. Just, just let me bottom line this real quick. Bottom line. I mean, here's the bottom line. You don't have to. The pagan side of Christmas has nothing to do with the Christ side of Christmas. It doesn't have to have anything to do with it. Just like the virgin birth of Nimrod has nothing to do with the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. As far as the birth of Jesus Christ, we don't even believe the virgin birth of Nimrod ever even happened. But because that happened a thousand years before the true birth of Christ, supposedly, scholars want to believe that God copied pagans with the story. Well, that's a parallel. And because it's a parallel, naturally, the parallel is going to continue to coexist. You can't delete the parallel. The parallel was created to make you do exactly what you're doing about Christmas. That's why they created the parallel to make the true story ineffective and to look like it was a copy. You see what I'm saying? So soon as the devil heard the seed of the woman, he went and created a seed of the woman story. So that when the true seed of the woman came, it would look like a copy. So the same thing. They tell you, well, he is, when you're celebrating Christ, you ain't really celebrating him. you celebrate celebrating Nimrod. No, I'm not. On Christmas, that's Nimrod's birthday. No, it's not. It's none of their birthday. It's a date selected to celebrate. So whatever day I want to select, I can select. Oh, why would you select the same day as Nimrod? I have yet to Google and find somebody celebrating Nimrod's birthday. <laughs> who's doing that? I have yet to find Tammuz. I, who's doing it? What are the? I ask them. Who? Wh when was the Nimrod celebration? That's his birthday. Well, where is the party? Where is the Nimrod party? I mean, it's the soul, it's the winner, and it's the, it's the, where, where are they having that celebration? They don't. They celebrate the devil on Halloween. Ain't nobody celebrating Christ on Halloween. It's foolishness. That's his birthday. That's his. It's nobody's birthday. It's a day we picked. Actually, we didn't pick it. It was picked for us. Just like Sunday was chosen to be called Sunday. We just chose to accept it. There are a few walking around calling Sunday Monday, but they can't even get a job. Because they can't show up to work when they're supposed to show up. I'm not accepting these pagan names. Moon Day and Sun Day and Saturn Day. Friar. I'm not, oh, I don't, know. I don't go outside on Fridays. <laughs> the names of the days were chosen and we accepted them. The names of the month are astrological. We don't believe in astrology, right? But we call July, July. Oh, no, that's not July. That's Rushape. Rushape. I call it Rushape. Dude, what's wrong with you? That's in. It don't make any sense. First John 2 and 22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the what? Christ. He is antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. So any religion. Hebrew Israelite, 5% nations of God's inner, Noi, the nation of Islam, all of them are anti-Christ because they deny that Jesus is the Christ. We believe the whole Bible. Amen? I mean, these Christians, boy, they get a hold of something and they just, I had somebody, see, Jeremiah said that you don't bring a tree in the house. It didn't say that. Oh, it didn't say that. And who carved? Anybody carved their tree this year? Because that's what it says. You brought the tree in the house and carved a face on it. Anybody do that? 
No branches. They take all the branches off. And they carve a face on it. And they put gold and, and, and all of that on it. They make an idol out of it. My Christmas tree didn't have a face. I mean, well, then what's the origin of the Christmas tree? The origin is I went into storage <laughs> and I drug it out. <clears throat> That's where it originated. And then I put it up and put stuff on it. Lights and all kind of stuff. Yeah, but brother, see, how can you deal with the origins of hip hop? And you ain't dealing with the origins of Christmas. Well, hip-hop is a religion. Is Christmas a religion? And, I mean, if I listen to Hark the Herald Angels sing, Glory to the Newborn King, that's talking about Jesus. So if I... Talk about Jesus in that song, but your song is talking about back that thing up. I think there's a big difference here. One is promoting the Savior, and the other is promoting Satan. Yeah. What's the most popular song in the country now? Secular. Drake, cell phone. Because that's the whole song is about a booty call is what it is. That's, that's the most popular song. You used to. <laughs> Hotline Bling, that's the name of it. Yeah, that's the most popular song. Okay, so if I talk against that, talk against Drake's, because we posted some about Drake's lipstick on the website, right? So all these women going to hit the page. Oh no, Jake Drake's not selling it to women. His, uh, he just he, they put his name on it. That's a marketing strategy. Not a, and clear as day in the in the ad for the lipstick is a dude with a mustache wearing the lipstick. So I showed him that. Wow. <laughs> I said, I understand why you would defend Drake, really, because he speaks so highly of you women compliments you, your body. He speaks so highly of you and your, your parts. Christians defending Drake. You know. Hey. Just. Foolishness. Muslims, Hebrews, Israelites, 5% etc. do not believe Christ is the only begotten son of God. So they have teamed up with atheists and others to remove Christ from everything. Not just Christmas, everything, including our Western celebration of Christmas. All this going back and finding the solace and what date, and we don't know the date. See, this is where they start. And I was just having this conversation with PJ. He's talking about relatives and different ones that get on this stuff and then go crazy and then leave God, Christ, leave everything all together. Because they start out... You can't celebrate because that's a pagan day with Christ, and that's that that you know the, the origin of Christmas is pagan. It's the solace or whatever, whatever. Then after that, well, you know, because Christ, you know, it really he's really Osiris, and you, they got Christ mixed up. The real Christ ain't really called Christ. His name is uh, Yahashua Hasha, and then so you got to call him by his name. Then they find out, well, see that Christ ain't really this Christ, and then and then you go visit them about three, four years later. They ain't even say they ain't even in they don't believe nothing dude why you all smoked out and your lips all black i just you know i mean man all of it's just a lie everything's a lie everything we know we've had members like this man i come you know we go out to eat with them i talk to them whatever and i'm just listening and i'm like okay brother you're like, yeah yeah see because one thing that people don't realize is, see, what they think is really not what's really happening. And so when you go to talking like that, I still be like, oh, okay, I see. And it's much, the Bible says, it's called it, much learning has made you mad. You too smart. You, you too investigative. You doing too much research. And then when I stop and be like, hey, man, we eating. Can we talk about this cabbage? 
Oh, you ain't what I thought you were, man. We was going to move down here, but I thought you were, you know, I thought y'all sat around. Everybody in here sat around, and we showed YouTube videos all day Sunday. It's like, brother, I do my research when I'm researching something. I don't live on research. Man, I got a family. Can't be sitting up researching. And then, who, how can you trust all the research you're doing? You can't trust that stuff on YouTube. You, I, <laughs> you honestly believe that people are going to put something that's going to really, really, truly help you, going to fill the internet with it? You don't even know who, you know who created the internet? They celebrated 25 years of the very first website. Uh, on the 20, 20th of December, 25 years of the very first. You know what the very first website was? CERN. CERN invented the Internet. Why did CERN invent the Internet? Because what they're going to do with Saturn and the LHC, they want to do it with your mind and your information. So you researching with that internet, watching all these videos, don't know that it's a, this dude is making them all. <laughs> Him and his cousins. <laughs> so they team up, they've teamed up with atheists and others to remove Christ from everything. For many deceivers, the Bible says, are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. This is a deceiver and a what? Constantine merged Christian celebrations with pagan ideas. Yes, he did. These same folks talking about don't celebrate Christmas got steeples on their churches. He did that too. Yeah. Preaching in a robe, talking against Christmas. I saw one dude in a robe. Preaching in a preacher's robe with crosses coming down on the sash. Preaching against Christmas. I said, that's the biggest oxymoron. <laughs> Constantine merged Christian celebrations with pagan ideas. In our present culture, paganism is attached to every part of our existence, and there is no way to escape it. You're wearing pagan clothes right now. Yes, you are. You're, the back of the chair is shaped like uh, uh, the pyramid that you're sitting on. You got the pyramid on your back. Everything is pagan. But we can stay true to God by keeping Jesus first in all we do, including celebrations and feasts. Galatians 2 and 20, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in, in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself what? I keep Christ in it. Look at somebody said you got to keep Christ in it. You got to fall in love with Jesus because talking about God ain't going to do it. You keep talking about God and talking about God and God and God and God. That same God will begin to evolve in your own mind and heart if you don't have Jesus there. Jesus makes the difference. All this God stuff is planned that way. It's planned that way. They want you to use that language. Homosexuals believe in God, but they don't do Jesus Christ. Inconsistencies. Calendar dates are irrelevant because our Gregorian calendar is not the same timekeeping method of the Bible days. So even the date you saw in Jeremiah, whatever date you saw in the Bible, they don't coincide with our Gregorian calendar days. So the Sabbath is not on our calendar. And if you pick a day to celebrate the Sabbath, you'd have to keep changing that day if it's based on the moon cycle that they were using in the Old Testament. That's why Paul said, y'all just forget it. Don't, don't, don't discriminate about feasts and celebrations and stuff because y'all's calendar is jacked up. 
and this is the second jacking of it. The first one was the Julian calendar, which Julius Caesar. Then, then Pope Gregory messed it up even worse with the Gregorian. So our calendar don't reflect anything from heaven. It's all pagan. Our calendar dates are pagan, our calendar cycle is astrological, and our planets are named after false gods. So you're going to pull your kid out of science? Oh, no, you can't call the planets those names. Colossians 2 and 16, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a what? Holy day? What? what what's that? What? what? Is that the same word as holiday? It's the exact same word as holiday. That's what holiday is, holy day. So in respect of a holiday or of a new moon or of the Sabbath days, let no man do what? Let no man what? Let no man what? So why are you even coming on my page, man? And they... You know, I, I don't know if y'all watch me. I was baiting them. Did anybody watch me on Facebook? I was acting a fool, really. I was, Fred Price called me. He said, man, you gangster on here. Because I was baiting them. I was making them itch. Because I put on there, watch. They can't help but comment. They're going to comment no matter what I say. Do not comment on this. I already know everything you're going to tell me. Do not comment. Don't write a comment. Please don't write it. Then I put a parenthesis, but I know they're still going to write it. I know they're still going to do it. And lo and behold, they'll sit there. <laughs> like a crackhead looking at him. <laughs> Christmas is pagan. It's pagan. It's on the day. Of the day. Now. What I believe, I could go on a million pages and know what I believe and read what people write, and I'd be like, man, that's some foolishness, and i just move on. But if it's personal, if I'm mad and angry, if it's something emotional in me, <laughs> no, I ain't going to say that. They go in the bed at night and wake up. You can't help it. They can't help it because it has nothing to do with the subject. Right. Nothing to do with Christmas. It has everything to do with unforgiveness. You are bitter and hurt. That's why they sit in service and will sit through this message. After the service, they're going to call somebody. Man, the, the, they, I just wish they would believe and knew the truth about the black Hebrews. Nobody knows that. You don't know what color they were. That's on purpose. Wouldn't Jesus have said, Jesus, or, wouldn't they have made a difference if there was a difference? They didn't make a difference. And please don't think they left it up to you to make that difference. The same people that consider Christmas a pagan celebration because of its dates or its parallels to pagan celebrations go to see movies that are pagan. Oh. <laughs> they was in Star Wars. They saw Star Wars. Oh. Well, watch the force. They watched the force. No Christmas. That's pagan. And watch the force. <laughs> they're so dumb they go to see pagan movies they listen to music <laughs> cell phone uh, hotline bling you listen to hotline bling you listen to future but Christmas mm -hmm. they play games that are pagan yeah they do with their little kid ring around the rosy pocket full of duck Pocket full of toes? <laughs> ashes? Ashes? Wait. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Pocket is posies. 
Yeah, but that's like poison, ashes, ashes. That whole song is about death. Yeah, London Bridge is falling down. London Bridge? That's a big old bridge. Rockabye Baby. All of my death songs. Here we go around the Maypole. You know what the Maypole? Now that is Nimrod. In the middle of that, Nimrod is that pole. Mm -hmm, that's what it's about. It's worship of the phallus. Where are you going for a uh, summer vacation? Man, we're going to Washington, D.C., man. Really? But you don't, no Christmas, huh? Oh, no. But you're going to go see the, all the monuments, right? Whole city shaped like a pentagram. All the streets. Just foolishness. But they play games at a pagan base and even recognize the names of our weekdays, which are pagan. Matthew 7 and 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? They drive cars with pagan logos and names. You can't drive a Dodge because it's got Baphomet on it. Can't drive a Lexus, it's got Saturn on it. Can't drive a Saturn, cause it's Saturn. <laughs> they even can't, they, they was like, you know, these folks are crazy. We just gonna come out of a car called the Mark. Remember the Lincoln, the Mark? Remember the Mark Five, Mark Six? Yeah, the Mark. You just driving the Mark. Argue you down about Christmas and then go start up that car. <laughs> they drive cars with pagan logos and names. They eat food offered to idols. You at the Chinese buffet. <laughs> <laughs> you at the Chinese buffet eating sweet and sour chicken. Buddha slapped you five on your way in there. Confucius is in the corner. All red with an orange. They give him an orange every day. And a cigarette. And you in there had your meeting about Christmas in there. Hold on, man. I got to go get some more rice. They're crazy. They're crazy. It's just crazy. Then they eat foods that poison their bodies. See, we don't eat no pork. But, bro, you eat the honey bun right now. <laughs> yeah, but I don't eat that swine. That's the white man, that filthy dog. <laughs> that honey bun, bro, slow your heart down just like that pork, if not quicker. <laughs> There's parts of that pig you can digest a whole lot better than that honey bun honey bun and it's the size of your head too. Why is it so big? <laughs> you know them Hebrew Israelites, like they'll preach and have that honey bun on the stand with them while they preach it. Honey and bun all in their beard. But they eat junk that paws in their bodies and then they the Lord, they use lang language. Hebrew Israelite, oh my goodness. That's the cut, them the cussing this for. I think they invented cuss words. Cuss you out. But when it comes to Christmas, because it has nothing to do with Christmas, it's just what Christians do. They want to stop what Christians do because they don't believe in Christianity. Because Christianity at some point in their life scarred them, hurt them. Somebody Christian let them down. They saw some inconsistency in Christianity and a person, and their faith and confidence was in that person. So now when it comes to things of Christ, they want to denounce it. Matthew 7 and 5, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shall thou see what? Clearly.
Holiday hatred. The reason for this attack is because holidays are usually centered around what? Family. And it can be a reminder of how dysfunctional their lives really are. Yeah, smoking cigarettes, denouncing Christmas. Smoking weed, denouncing Christmas. Drunk, drunk, fighting Christmas. That makes no sense. This can cause one to be anxious and uncomfortable during times of celebrations. I can't tell you how many single women that I, you know, counsel or whatever over the internet, over the email, and they'll email me because they go in great states of depression during holiday season because they want a family or they want a husband or they want children or whatever. And then I encourage them by telling them, okay, well, maybe you can't have Valentine's Day this year, but just, you know, celebrate God or whatever. But don't make Valentine's Day Satan's day because you ain't got nobody. Oh, but the God of the heart and the bow and arrow that came from uh, Babylon. It's just all this research, man, just because you don't have nobody. If you had somebody, you'd be taking hearts and anything else. I'd take a real heart bubbling on a platter. Give me that, a pig heart. Give me that cow's heart. But now you just hate the days and you're looking for validation to hate the day because you don't have anyone. And that's what leads people down these paths. And that's why grandmama is a Hebrew Israelite. So the advice she'd given her grandchildren is to turn away from Christ. Because she was hurt by a man that called himself a man of God. Proverbs 15 and 18. A wrathful man stirreth up what? strife but he that is what appease it he settles that down slow to anger man I'm not going to get angry oh these Christians celebrate just calm down bro it ain't even that serious because of the way the holidays make them feel they need a reason to denounce the season Sure, there are pagan parallels to Christmas, but these parallels can easily, easily be what? Ignored. For example, we ignore the pagan virgin birth stories when it comes to Jesus Christ being the only true begotten son of God. Nobody talks about Jesus and mentions Nimrod. When we're talking about Jesus being born of a virgin, ain't no song talking about and he was born of a virgin unlike that Nimrod who was a... We ignore that. That's not true to us. I can count on one hand how many times I've said Nimrod this year. Because I don't care. He has nothing to do with what I'm doing. I ignore that. Until some atheists come and try to tell me that it's the same thing or whatever. Then I say, man, you crazy or whatever. But I'm not going to sit here and argue because you don't believe anyway. Why would we have this arguing you don't believe? You're going to come to him, you must first believe that he is who he says he is. You don't believe that, so this argument is done. James 3 and 16. For where there is jealousy and selfishness, there is what? Disorder and every evil practice. The part of that you got to look at is the jealousy and selfishness. That's what comes when you have hatred towards your family. When you have hatred towards your family, you're jealous of people that are good with their family. Yeah, and when you have hatred towards your family, you become selfish because it becomes about you and what was done to you. Yeah. This generation lashes out of anger and strife in order to protect their feelings instead of looking at the inconsistencies that, are they, that they are promoting. You against Christmas, but you sexually active outside of marriage? Against Christmas and watching porn. Yeah, no matter what you say, they cannot hear it because they are hurt and angered by their family situations. Proverbs 14, 29. He that is slow to wrath is of what? 
great understanding. But he that is hasty of spirit does what? Exalts father. That's the person that hates the AKA looking at it. They just have to type something. They have to let you know that you're wrong. They have to let you know. But if they don't want to let you know that they're wrong. They want to let you know what they think. That's it. They want what they say to be valid to somebody. They don't have nothing to do with what you're talking about. This has nothing to do with Christmas. They want a voice. And the internet gives it to them. Yeah, they got the power to rebuke preachers. Summary! Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, etc. are days that our society has set aside for us to celebrate various things. Whether it's Christ's birth, the New Year, or even giving thanks on Thanksgiving. Man, folks against Thanksgiving? How are you against turkey and dressing? Turkey and dressing, that's all it is. Turkey and dressing, man. Oh, Thanksgiving, see the origin of, the origin of giving thanks? Is there an origin of giving thanks? See, the dressing, that's cornbread. And cornbread is a derivative of corn. And corn came from the, Dude, I'm going to eat it. I'm, I got some in my mouth right now. I'm eating that dressing, man, no matter what you say. Thanksgiving, really? I had somebody, you know, this is crazy. I had somebody email me. Uh, we don't we don't do Christmas. We just let you know we don't do Christmas. Uh, just, so I just I guess Holy Spirit something just told me to ask him. Well, what do you do on Christmas? Well, we we our family we all come together and these are Hebrew Israelites. They all come together on Christmas and eat. So <laughs> I said, so y'all so all your family come together. Yeah, we come together on that, this is this is what we do on Christmas because we don't celebrate no Christmas. So we all just come together and eat people. I said, people come from out of town? Yeah, you know, the whole family get together. <laughs> I said, so do you give gifts? Well, no, 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 nobody give gifts now. You know, no, no, sometimes we'll, you know, we'll take the kids to the skating rink or whatever. And, and if they need new skates, we might get them some skates or something, you know. Just, you know, but it ain't Christmas because we don't wrap it or nothing. So you give them gifts, y'all gather around the table and eat. <laughs> People, y'all, dude, so you, you low-key doing Christmas. You did more than some folks that celebrating Christmas do. Some folk couldn't get home today, family. Whether it's Christ's birth, the new year, or even giving thanks for what we have. It's our choice to do this because we have God-given dominion to do so. Antichrist belief systems that were formed to make Christ a white man's religion are working hard to remove Christ from all celebrations and festivities. Most people in these belief systems are from broken homes or families and have been hurt by family in some way. This causes many single, divorced, and unhappy Christians to denounce holidays and search for justification to deem them as pagan and sinful. They go into states of depression, fits of rage, or even denial through proof texts and scriptures to prove their point. While all along, they are siding with atheists and other antichrist believers in efforts to stop the celebrations and joy of others. Boy, G. Craig is preaching today, man. Man. With the addition of internet comments via social media, many believers will spend all day targeting other believers that are enjoying their holidays. Even when you ask them not to post comments, they will post anyway. The hurt and wrath in them causes them to lash out no matter what. They have no respect for how you feel because they feel disrespected by their own family. They cannot consider your feelings because they feel their own feelings haven't been considered by their own family. They must post negativity regardless. This is a true testament of the broken condition of their hearts. Instead of just admitting that
that they don't like holidays because of the way they feel about their family or lack thereof. They conjure up misinterpreted scripture and align themselves with Christ's haters in order to prove their point. But if they would continue to search the scripture, not just looking for what you're looking for, but if you just search the scriptures, the totality of the scriptures, they will find that Paul taught us not to discriminate or argue with those that keep dates of festivals and celebrations because it's their prerogative to do so. Yeah. <laughs> Ephesians 4 and 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. And the Bible keeps Christ in it. But clamor, that's what this is. That's the word. And that's how I got this whole lesson from that one word, clamor, because that's what clamor is. It's people just making noise. You know, a noise in you that you can't hold. You can't hold it. You, you got to fire off on people. You got to attack people. You have to be heard. You have to be seen. You have to align yourself with a group that's doing it. It's clamor. That's what it is. And God says, bitterness, wrath, clamor, anger. He, let's just put it all away because none of it matters. If we all go into heaven, it don't matter how big your tree is in your house. And if you don't want a tree in your house, just don't have one. But don't try to teach against those that have one. Amen. I'm not trying to push Christmas on nobody. I'm just telling you why I do it. But don't try to push what you believe on me. Because the basis of what you're talking about isn't a true basis. It's all fabricated. Everyone stand to your feet.